Welcome to the party, pal. You look beautiful today. Even if we've never met, you're quite attractive. You should be very proud of yourself. We're going to a funeral today, unfortunately. However, before we do that, we gotta mail out a package. I have signed his copy of Bakudao. Thank you for being a friend. Shut. Sadly, I did say we were going to funeral today. We're gonna to be mourning the loss of a dear friend. Fry's Electronics. I don't know if you have one of these in your area, but it's dying and, well, we're here to pay our last respects. Okay. Hello, old friend. Cue the funeral music as we enter. For those of you who don't know, every fries is made up to look like a certain theme. This is Alice in Wonderland. I love the roof here. Oh, beautiful. Amazing design. I mean, they really put effort into making it look cool. I love it. It makes it fun to walk in to the store like you're going into the White Rabbit's house and, uh, there's his little, whatever the hell it is, tomato soup. And then the Mad Hatter welcomes you to the store. And here we are. There's Alice crying. And the hedges. The hedges are cool as hell, huh? But we're here to look at the DVDs and the Blu-rays, which is the one section that's taking the biggest hit in this store, unfortunately and signals the decline of Fry's Electronics. Got some playing cards on the ceiling and our buddy the white rabbit himself. We pull back a bit so you guys can see the full rabbit. See how big he is compared to me? The physical media section used to be massive. It used to be my favorite place to go buy a movie. And now this is all there is for Blu-ray and DVD. Two little dinky shelves. And some of them are <laughs> literally just face up it's not like it's jam-packed like this they're all loosely spread around and it's a little well honestly it's heartbreaking what else can you say we're gonna dig into the details little by little incidentally if you're new here consider subscribing my name is master cast and i want to be your friend this is a daily show and i'd love for you to join me on my future adventures if you're old here welcome back i knew you'd make it you look wonderful How's your mom doing? One thing you'll notice right off the bat is that there's really no organization whatsoever. It looks like you have numbered TV shows and then you get Castle Freak, okay? And then you get Murder in the Front Row and a documentary about Abraham Lincoln. So it's kind of alphabetical, but not really. And completely, I mean, forget genres. So this is just all a mishmash of stuff. DVD, oh, there's that movie. Brutality. I don't know if anyone's seen that one. There's a lot of this stuff. Why do they get these? Who puts this out? Blood soaked. Nazi zombie breeders. Sounds like it's destined to be a cult classic. Who puts this out? Oh, Wild Eye. Okay. Whoa. Oh, they do have this. That's kind of cool. This is supposed to be the Puppet Master Big Box. But it's not a, it's not a VHS. It includes the original Puppet Master and a little blade toy. Doesn't even have a price. What? There is no price on this. Just blindly. Oh, well, okay, there's a price on this. Okay. No, let me see. Hold on. No prices? Well, I guess it's free. I'm grabbing one if it's free. Ooh, Mistress of the Apes? I've actually been dying to see this movie. I have it on VHS. But uh, I don't have a VHS player. No price, but... I think, dang, I may just pick this up because I've been dying to see this. Is Jenny Auger? No. Yeah, I'm picking this up for sure. Unless it's like 20 bucks or some stupid shit like that. Okay, DVDs. And I normally don't buy DVDs, like I mentioned, but I like rare stuff like this that I've been dying to see. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll drop some bucks. Hey, look at that. Old friend. The Lost of Pastor on DVD. What are the bonus features on this sucker? Commentary track, gag reel, Texas Frightmare cast and crew Q&A, closed captions. Closed captions? Awesome. 
this was a fun movie. I had a good time with this one. I highly recommend it. And I don't know how much they're selling it for here. Because apparently, fries could care less to do its job. And that's probably why it's dying. And we are here to discuss the, the eventuality of Fry's' demise. Is it going out of business? Well, it hasn't closed yet. But it is very much dying. I mean, you can just look around and tell. There's nobody in the store. I'm literally the only person in this section. What's this, a TV show, Murder One? Yeah. Nobody in the store, completely empty. Their, their physical media section has shrunk considerably. I don't know if they've made any big announcements as to when the store's closing. It has opened for now. It, it stayed open for the most part. They don't have any big Black Friday deals anymore, which sucks. Last year, that was really disappointing. Well, look at this. Sorry to keep getting distracted, but I find good things here. Scooby-Doo and the Samurai Sword. Now that looks like a great time. Scooby and they dress like geishas. Hmm. TNT Jackson double black exploitation show. Look at this. With Black Godfather. Then there's three movies in here. You also get Black Gestapo and the Black Six. And then I'm not sure what the third film is. The Complete Black Cobra with Fred Williamson. I don't know it. But this does have a price. 11, well, 12 bucks, it's not a bad deal. Oh, big ass mushroom right here. With a couple of little seating areas that I think used to have computers and things on them. All that remains is a super high caterpillar. Well, the Blu-ray section seems to prove a little more interesting. We've got a ton of Arrow titles here. Uh, MVD stuff as well. That's a fun movie, by the way, if you guys have not seen that. That's a really fun Bigfoot film. Ooh, Attack Force Z. I remember this. That's a good one. I got this box set. And yeah, they get a lot. They, got, they really do have a lot of mostly, actually almost exclusively Arrow titles even down here. Two little sad ones down here. We got Cannibal Taboo. I'm sure a few of you have seen that one. Let's see here, Case of the Scorpion's Tail. Yeah, it is almost exclusively Arrow titles. They got the Arrow, uh, Django Prepare a Coffin. It's a great movie. Ooh, this is, no, let me put my apes down. Double Dragon. What do we got? Let's check this out here. This is the MVD release. You guys wanna check out the features? I'm gonna zoom that in. Ah. Alyssa Milano's in this? I didn't remember. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, I remember now. Classic. Oh, they got The Wind. So they have new releases, too. So they're getting new stuff in. They got Edge of the Axe. No prices on any of these. Doom Asylum, I was kind of interested in. If anyone's seen it, let me know what you think. And there's the back, if you want to read that. Looks like it's a... Horny teens kind of film. It was always a blast. Shakespeare's one of my favorite movies of all time. I grew up on this movie. Let me show you the back. It's basically an Indiana Jones, I'll take on the Indiana Jones type of personality. But, uh, I just don't want to describe it. It's such a fun movie. It's about um, a paperback character that turns out to be an actual adventure hero guy. Mm -hmm and he goes on an adventure to defeat the Elephant Man. <laughs> it's a great movie. I love that movie, I highly recommend Jake Speed. Then we got TV shows, Island of Death. This movie's horrible, oh, what an awful watch. You guys seen this? God, horrible. Ugly movie, ugly. Oh, no, this is an insanity right here. Forbidden Zone, this is a great movie. Really fucking weird. Rocky Horror. If you're into Rocky Horror, you'll enjoy this movie. The Citizen Kane of Underground Movies. Absolutely. The Ilsa movie. I'm not sure if it's part one or two or, or what. But Ilsa is back. And she's more fierce than ever. Good times. Leonard part six on Blu-ray. What the hell? I'm surprised there's like even releasing this. 
Wow, 299? Oh, geez, 299. Well, I gotta get this. Three bucks? This is gonna become illegal pretty soon. The Maniac Cops, they've got Blue Underground as well. Maniac Cop 3. If you guys wanna look at the back of that. Oh my god, there's a D box code? What? You can watch this movie in D box? That's awesome. If you guys don't know D box, it's a sort of a 4D kind of thing where you can sit in a chair and the chair moves. But I don't know how many people have fucking D box in their house. Mind Games, Maxwell Caulfield. I don't know this one. Anybody know Mind Games? Whole wall of just Mad Max. They really had a, a lot of Mad Max. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Very strange. There's that Blood Hunger set. Dream Demon is here. No price, of course. Um, Giant Spider Invasion. That's a great one. That's a cool cover. That's a really cool cover. Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know what the hell this is. Ed Wood. It's a personal hero. Ed Wood's Take It Out and Trade. What the hell? Ed Wood, take it out in trade. Ed Wood was the filmmaker behind Planet Night from Outer Space. Okay, so what the hell is this one? Is it a vampire movie? Hmm, I might get this. Oh, plus another movie? Well, I might get this. That's kind of a hero of mine, so I might grab that. I'm actually more surprised than I thought I would be. <laughs> There's a ton of this stuff. Like, really good, unique. Boutique stuff. Oh, there's Ruby. Ruby's really good. Uh, Ruby's really good. Who put Ruby out? Oh, MVD, okay. Gutter balls. I think I'll be reviewing that pretty soon on Master Chaos Theater. Go check that out. Oh, I don't know what this is. Scary movie. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff here. Man, I'm shocked. Oh, scary movie, yes! I do know this movie. This is great. This is supposed to be a super lost film. Oh, I do know this movie. I don't want to need to buy it, but that's a really fun one. This is the one where there's burglars and like a cobra is loose in the house. Let me see. Yes, it is. There's another cover for Weird Science. This is the Steve. Slipcase, not the steel book. What have you done to Solange? Great movie. Yeah, a ton of Arrow titles. I'm shocked. Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna say this now. I don't think it's going out of business. It's just being more specialized just because of the physical media market. But what they don't have are new release movies, which I find very odd. There's no Trolls, Sonic. That's actually stranger than anything else. This store at one point even had a massive adult film section, probably bigger than uh, the other movies. Uh, that's gone now. A lot of things are gone now. They normally have a movie theater set up behind these doors where this uh, fancy frog and fancy fish are welcoming you into, but it's closed at the moment, I'm guessing, just because coronavirus issues. But uh, there's a really nice little theater in there. Hopefully I'll be able to show it to you one day if the store doesn't disintegrate. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this. No, well maybe I'll take it back. Maybe it is going out of business. This used to be the thriving TV section where they had tons and tons of TVs. Here's one. Tons and tons of TVs displaying stuff. Now they've got three? Four, maybe? Wow. Five, six, including those big ones. Boy, that's sad. What the hell? This is all filled with like big TVs and pretty depressing, to be honest. And whatever this thing is, agrees. Wow. It's a ghost town, man. I mean, I know we're in the middle of a pandemic, but... Jesus Christ. And this used to all have computers on it. This is the computer station. Yikes. The Queen of Hearts sends us packing. And we'll leave. We'll leave peacefully. Sorry to see you go, Queen. Actually, maybe back. Who knows? I'm very surprised at what they had. 
Hey, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Well, they're wishing us goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'm sorry you have to live in this depressing looking place. Well, I guess I wasn't being facetious when I said it was a funeral. That's a dying store. I did ask the employee when I checked out. I'll show you what I bought in a minute. I asked her, are you guys closing? And she said, no, no, you know, it's just low stock. And I figured, okay, the pandemic, I get it, low stock, but I don't know. I've been to Best Buy, I've been to Target, I've been to Walmart. It did not look like a third world thrift store. Well, my friend, I'm back in the car now because it's 100 goddamn degrees out there and I figure I need a little shade, even though I have the top open. I'm going to show you what I got physical media wise. The uh, Ed Wood film was $30 and the uh, the Ruby Blu-ray was 20 bucks. So I decided to pass on those, but I did grab, oh yeah, Mistress of the Apes. I may review this on Mastercast Theater. I've been dying to see this movie. Uh, I'm sure it's garbage, but uh, I like garbage. Then of course... Leonard Part 6 was three friggin' dollars. Uh, no special features except uh, subtitles in English. So um, I'm gonna be excited to turn those on. But this, <laughs> I'm sure they're just uh, trying to burn through these. They, they, they don't want to be associated with uh, Mr. Pudding Pops over here. I also picked this up, which I may do a review of. I, I'm curious to try it on uh, my camera because I'm shooting on my phone. This is a gimbal uh, for the camera to sort of steady the shots a little bit. Uh, I'm going to see how that works. Maybe I'll do a review for it. Uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully it works out and make it look a little more, uh, a little more flowy camera wise. Oh, it's too dang hot to live, man. Oh, shit. That'll do for today, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you sharing that time with me. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy and well. And until we meet again, I suppose we'll close the casket on Fry's Electronics for now, because I was kind of surprised at the stuff they had in there. But we'll close the casket for now, and I'll wish you a very pleasant evening, wherever you are.